Okay, so to bend my half inch rod, what I did is I came out and I drilled some holes into my driveway since I don't have the base. If you have the base, you can bolt that to your garage floor um, permanently, or you can drill some deep holes and just drop some pins in there, you know, some half inch screws. Uh, grade five is best so they don't shear. Um, but basically this, I'm using my driveway because it's got a rougher surface in my garage and I can actually get some traction to get the bend and it also lets me drill some holes in. In the winter time, you know, I'm not worried about holes outside. Driveway's pretty beat up anyways. Um, if you have a brand new driveway I don't, uh, and you're married, I don't su suggest you do that. Otherwise you might be sleeping in the garage. Um, so I've made a couple bends. You can see I have a little bubble level on here because it's really important that as you make your bends all of this stays level because if this center shaft is not in alignment with the next shaft then you're not going to have even pedaling so what I'm going to do now is I've made my this is what sits on the right hand side of the bike and I'll have a bearing here <coughs> comes up this is where my first pedal is going to be so again I'm going to slide my UHMW along this uh, and get it ready and then I will make my next bend down one foot so we'll go down one foot um, and then I'll make another six inch bend put on two more pieces of UHMW come up six inches over six inches down six inches and so on until all the bends are done. Okay as you can see most of the crank is bent I've been putting on my UHMW uh, pedal sides. I got my bearings on down there at the end here in the middle uh, Again, I just had to hit lightly sand. This was uh, 5 8 cold rolled steel was not uh, Turned and ground uh, But it was about four one hundred soft so a little hand sanding with some 200 grit sandpaper worked great So now I've got my last couple bends come down and then over for my main shaft um, and then we can fit our sprocket on and get this located in the bike and bolt it in. And then we will have our pedal assembly and our crank. Then we can attach our chain drive to uh, our rear wheel and actually be able to move the thing. Okay, so now I have the pedal crank installed. I started with the, um, the center. I will put the wood in between the blocks here. Um, eventually I will come back and I will cut off the extra with a sawzall. But I wanted to make sure I had enough. My main gear will sit in line with my rear gear here. My derailleur will come off of this uh, and match up with the derailleur that is down on the back wheel. And we can put in our chain and start to pedal. Now, of course, we won't be able to stop yet because we haven't done the brakes yet. That's so what I'm doing is I'm modifying the inside wiring of my turn signal brake light and I need to drill out this little hole here to accept uh, what I'm using as a replacement cable is cat 5e 8 conductor even though I only need uh, three of the pairs um, so I have to drill that out to be able to fit uh, cat 5. Okay so what I did is when I did the light side of this I marked everything down wrote on the top what color of the original cable was and then what color of the cat 5e e uh, cable that I'm replacing it with was so when I come into the control unit here and I laid out the, the position of where all the wires were before I desoldered them and pulled the cable and when I'll feed my cat 5e e through the new hole that I drilled tie a knot get a little strain relief in there resolder everything put the unit back together put in the batteries and test her out so today what we're gonna do attach our main gear. We're going to cut off this extra pedal here, this arm, but we need to line it up with the back gears here. Line it up. We'll cut off the extra 5 8 inch rod. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a bracket that comes out and gives me a down tube that I can attach my front derailleur to. Uh, so I'm going to have both a lower and an upper bracket uh, to be able to support that. Um, probably cut off some of the down tube from the bicycle that I took this from, uh, weld that into place so uh, everything lines up the way it should. That'll give me my front set of gears to go in my back set of gears. The derailleur there is already set up and I can run my chain 
go from there. Today we're also going to put blocks of wood in for the pedals. We are going to attach the brakes to the rear and to the front. I'm going to make a couple brackets that the uh, brake calipers will sit on. And then finally we will attach the seats. So what we're going to do is actually use some uh, heavy duty drawer slides to make the seats move back and forth and use drop pins and uh, angle for securing them in place. And she's ready for the now what I'm doing is I'm looking at a, another 18 speed that I have because I want to make sure that I take a look at where the alignment is between the rear gears and the front gear. So when I place my front sprocket onto uh, the shaft there, I know I have the alignment correctly. So as I shift through the gears, uh, everything will line up just as if it were on the bicycle. So I want to make sure and I can do that with a piece of string you know, to see which, uh, I'm going to pick a gear here, most likely this big one here, which looks like it lines up with the small set of gears up front. But I will lay, tie a piece of string off here, lay it flat against that gear, and see where I hit. As you can see, what I'm doing right now is I'm halfway through a cut. I'm cutting off this pedal leg here. Now, one of the key things is that this whole assembly is steel. So I can weld this onto my axle. Uh, you may have aluminum. Best way to check is put a magnet on it. If the magnet sticks, it's a ferrous metal, you can weld it. Uh, if it is aluminum, you're going to have to think this through a little bit. You might have to figure out a way to drill and tap uh, so you can put a set screw in. If you do that, I would suggest taking a grinder and grinding a flat spot in your shaft for that set screw to sit on. So it has less of a chance to wear a groove around there. Or if you have uh, milling available, you could always mill a slot in there and then mill a slot in the end of your shaft and then use a key, which of course would be the best way to do that. But again, since I have ferrous metal here, I'm just going to weld it. Okay, as you can see, I've cut off the extra shaft. I ground it uh, in preparation for welding so that I get a good weld surface there. I'll also weld on the inside. We are lined up with our gears. Uh, now what I also did is I cut off the extra shaft on this side as well so that it doesn't stick out and somebody walks into it. All right, I'll weld it up. I cleaned it up a bit with a wire brush and I'm gonna take some newspaper, mask off behind it, and spray it with black spray paint. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some two inch by, by uh, 16th inch steel flax stock to make the top bracket for my down tube for my derailleur. So again, I'm going to come back to my metal bender. I've put in a uh, die that is the same diameter as my inch and a quarter PVC. Um, and so I'll put this in here. I'm going to bend this around and then this will hook over the top rail of PVC. Um, and then I will be able to weld on a piece of down tube to that, bolt my bracket on, get the derailleur in place, attach the chain. Okay, so I have bent my hook, and I will show you where this is going to go. So this will actually hook onto here, like this. I'm going to through bolt it, and so then I will weld my down tube onto this, and that's with the derailleur. But I want to make sure. I have this lined up where it needs to be. It's probably going to be right about here before I bolt it into place. So here I have the old bike frame that I've been taking pieces and parts off of. And what I want to do is I need to know what the angle is of this down tube. This is where my derailleur attached right here when I had the gear set on the right hand side. So I need to know what this angle is so that I can cut a little chunk of pipe off to weld onto that bracket. Uh, and then I will attach my derailleur. But in order to know what angle this is, I use an angle finder. And, uh, you know, basically I will figure out where we sit. So we are about... We're 
about nine degrees. I could probably safely say that's accurate. So I will get a little chunk of pipe. I'll cut a nine degree bevel on one end. I will weld it onto my bracket and then I can bolt everything up.